Welcome to Monmouth and Focus, a show that gives the functions of Monmouth County. And uh, I'm Freeholder Director Tom Arnone, and I, it's a special guest here today, my first mayor. Uh, that we're going to start to interview around the county, and that is Mayor Tony Perry from our largest municipality here in Middletown and somebody that operates such good government. Mayor, great to have you on board. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, tell me, when were you elected mayor of Middletown? So this is, uh, I'm going into my second year now as mayor of Middletown. I was mayor in 2018. Uh, I was elected in 2018, mayor in 2019, and now again mayor in 2020. So Exciting. Very exciting. Exciting. You know, it's always a passion of mine being a former mayor. Um, I know that there's a lot of, a lot of obstacles and goals that you want to try to achieve, and I know that you have a lot of very high goals that you want to achieve. What are some of the bigger goals that you want to try to tackle on? Yeah, so we put a, we put a lot on our agenda this year, and uh, I have a great township committee that helps me uh, in, in everything that we do. You know, mayors in our form of government are, are, are weak mayors. So, you know, we have just as much power as everybody else on the township committee, so it's really a group effort uh, in everything that we do, and, and I'm uh, very much appreciative to have such a great township committee. Deputy Mayor Tony Fiore, Rick Heibel, Pat Snell, Kevin Sanabrino, they're all stellar and uh, great public uh, officials. But this year, uh, our, our, our first big item that, that we've already set into motion was our, uh, our efforts to build 100% affordable housing for the men and women of the United States it's Armed Forces. It's an unbelievable project. Unbelievable project. We are taking a long neglected and, and blighted piece of property in our historic Campbell's Junction. We're cleaning that up and we're able to build between eight and 12 units that will be dedicated solely to uh, our veterans. Uh, and, and we can't think of anybody more project. deserving uh, of, I, of that. I couldn't agree with you more. And I know like you're building buildings, you're, you're building, you're looking at the future mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure of the town, all things that are important that, you know, the average person might not realize because they don't see all that. Yeah. Um, and, but I know that you and, and all the mayors are such visionaries on, on what is best for their town. But the good thing about it is, and one of probably the one of my biggest initiatives when I came on board was to partner with our municipalities. And you know, the smaller municipalities, it's a little easier to do. Um, they definitely have they definitely have a lot of needs there because their resources are limited. Mm -hmm. But we have engaged, unlike probably any of the other counties, engaging with our larger municipalities and Middletown being our largest, we do so many things together. What are some of the things that we work on together? So uh, it's it's funny. I was thinking about this on the way in, Tom. I don't think the day goes by where you and I are on the phone exactly. together. And uh, to, I, I'm not sure uh, how much you enjoy that, but but I'm very much very appreciative much of, of of all that we do together and. Uh, you know, you have a great team of shared services and, and, and you know, Liz Perez, who is just absolutely stellar in, in everything that she does and presents to the municipalities. Um, and and the, the, the biggest thing, because we all know that politics is local and, and, and it's the small things, absolutely. it's the services that are most critical because people don't care about a lot of the things, but they care about when their trash is picked up. And the most important thing is when their roads are paved. And the partnership that we have formed in getting our in getting our streets paved at a, less of a cost than to go out to, to public bid and, and go with a low bidder where you're gonna have cost overages and change orders and all the, these different things. You and the county, John Tabia, Joe Atour, everybody at the county has really done a stellar job at helping municipalities you know, including Middletown, where we have 375 miles worth of roadway. So from here to Virginia Beach, Virginia, that's how much roadway we have in Middletown. And uh, partnering with the county to repave those roads is, is just critically important. You know, I always learned a, a lesson a, a long time ago. Um, somebody that was one of my mentors said, listen, if you want to be on any good committee, be on public works because everybody sees the roads. But there's a counter to that. If you don't do a good job, <laughs> right. um, it could actually be a detriment. And and quite frankly, Middletown, you guys have such a program, and I'm glad we're part of it. So you know, as unfortunately, um, government is not easy, or everybody be doing it. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of obstacles that occur. If you were to say one of your biggest obstacle that you could see coming down the pike as being mayor, not that I'm sure you'll achieve it, but you know what's coming down the pike. What would that be? Well, I think, you know, uh, our township is is really, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, thanks to 121 people in Trenton, um, our schools got a, got a massive uh, cut. And while that doesn't directly impact how, as mayor and our township committee, it more impacts our, our school board, um, we got a $1.8 million cut 
from Trenton uh, for, for the students of Middletown. And you know, we have 17 schools in town. And to not to, to think that these are mutually exclusive from each other, the school board's operation and the township committee's operation, um, it, it, it is a little bit naive, I think. And, and I try and explain to people how important it is to, to really voice their concerns and understand what is happening. It, you know, a, another thing is, instilling in people that we're not going to agree on everything. And every reorg I've, for the last two years, I've said the exact same thing. We are not going to agree on every issue that comes down, comes down the pipe. But what is it critically important is to under, understand each other's perspectives exactly. and point of views and, and have that dialogue, have that understanding. And because uh, a lot of times what, I, what I've found, and you know, for me being a young mayor, being the youngest mayor in Middletown's history, I think there was a little bit more pressure on me to, to prove myself in, in 2019, and I hope I achieved that. And I'm grateful to my colleagues to let me do it again in 2020. But you have to give people that, that, that time. You have to listen and Absolutely. stop talking. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with you more. You know, it's funny because um, when we talk about those different initiatives and, and working together, that's something that I think um, there's three entities in government, well actually four, with the school board. The school board, then you have the, the municipality, the county, and the state. We've achieved our uh, goals by working together. Mm -hmm. and, um, and truly you're seeing, you're seeing the major gains from it. Definitely. Um, and that's because of the partnerships. And you know, it goes a long way of not just being partners on the day-to-day -day operation, but also being friendly with both whatever party you are, Absolutely. Republican, Democrat. And I think that's why it works so well here in Monmouth County. I have to thank you personally um, and your county and your committee. Um, and I know Tony Perry was, uh, Tony Fury was very involved in that too, at a period of time when you came over to our 911 mm -hmm. dispatch. Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, you, had a, you have a lot of employees, you yep. have a lot of firemen, you have a lot of emergency service, you had a lot of police police officers, and, and it was a bit of a risk to do that, Def no definitely. doubt. But um, I think everybody's happy now. Um, I think the taxpayers are happy. I think, obviously, emergency services, first and foremost, are happy, and, um, and you guys, you know, took, took it on and did it, and it worked best for everybody there. So um, I commend you for that, and I'm looking forward to us working together and seeing some other big uh, programs going along, and I think we have some on the horizon. I, I, we were just talking about one last night. Yes. Uh, but yeah, to, uh, with regard to the 911, what the sheriff has done um, and what Tony Fiore did really leading the charge on that, um, benefit the taxpayers and, and benefit all of our emergency services personnel, it, it's a massive win for, for, the, for the town and for the county. So I can't thank you enough. I mean, listen, when Middletown runs good, Monmouth County runs good. And, um, and you guys do a great job through, through your whole administration there. And, and I know we work so well together. And I'm looking forward to continuing a long-lasting relationship. Absolutely. And good luck. And you know Monmouth County is there. And I'm sure we'll talk every day and just keep working together. Absolutely. Thank Thanks, you. Tom, for the partnership. Thank you. Thank thank you. you.